These are ruins of... What is this again? Where'd you go? Are you around? Holy shit, you scared me. Always. Let me give you a little bit of context. The Harachani Airport is a former military airport in the Czech Republic. It was built toward the end of World War II for the Nazi Air Force. We're doing, what is this called? Like urban exploring? We are responsible, we are not going inside. We don't want to get murdered. And this is the last time they were seeing. There's some gangs here. <laughs> In 1968, the Soviet army took control and set up a large airbase here. So the buildings that we're exploring right now are adjacent to the base and the former military airport, where the Soviet families lived, worked and went to school too. After the Soviets left in 1991, the airport was abandoned and is now neglected and damaged. I want to send this to Brandon and be like, dude, we need to write a script with one actor, a monster, and that's fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Did you hear that? What? <laughs> <laughs> There's some kids there. Yeah. This is uh, the sex room. Can you give any ideas? <laughs> Can you check out the upper stairs? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, not really, but sure. <laughs> Oh, creepy. Hopefully this doesn't f***ing collapse on us. Yeah. As much as these buildings were creepy and totally gave me the heebie-jeebies, it was intriguing to see how people used to live in the communist era in the Czech Republic. Someone suggested we go back at night. I politely declined. Still though, during the day, you can appreciate better how as soon as people abandon buildings, or even cities, nature immediately takes over. It really is fascinating. Just google nature taking over Detroit and you'll find something similar closer to home. As you walk through these buildings, you can't help thinking, what a waste. Why don't they just demolish it all and build something new from scratch? And the answer is, I don't know why. Perhaps money? Bureaucracy? Who knows? Oh, they came over it. Over what? Oh, no kidding. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, they put a dick there. Those oh, fucking they... assholes. Those fucking assholes. Actually, I think I can fix that. I'll do it as a small tribute to the artist who painted the graffiti. As someone way smarter than me once told me, if you look long enough, you'll find something nice even on a pile of shit. And we certainly did. This is so awesome. And by awesome you mean... Really, really bad. My wife is enjoying this way too much and I'm scared shitless.